Because I am... The world's symbol of peace and justice! Hey, what's going on Destiny Knights? My name is Easy the Gamer. We're going back to another D6 video. So today, what we're going to be doing is, um, actually, I, want, I know y'all, uh, I've actually recorded, so much can I speak? Can... <laughs> <laughs> I've actually recorded one video already. I'm going to record this one and maybe another one. I'm going to be on track on the, with these videos. Uh, so last one I actually recorded was so y'all can know what track I'm going with. Uh, I actually last recorded the whole little tournament me uh nezzy and i did which i'm glad to see that uh, uh, some of y'all enjoyed that i really want to do more stuff with that and uh, i hope we can do more uh things like that he's oh, busy and my my schedule is busy as well so we kind of it's kind of difficult to find a a, a a center point but i still enjoy doing that uh so let's go ahead and what we're going to be doing today is talking about a team that farms every scenario for global anyways uh because i feel like um one through four it's gonna be silva medina inua and um Jin. but 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 listen to me here okay i did not make this team um uh, shout out to my guild y'all are awesome i actually wanted to make this video a long time ago i didn't i didn't make it because uh i actually did not I didn't think it was going to work. I was like, I don't have the orbs. I don't have the right cooldown. I don't have this. I don't have that. But uh, turns out that it's actually doing really well. And I was trying to hide it for the longest time because I wanted to show the right the, the right time to actually show off this team. Now this team is it is a very YOLO team. If you don't have the right crest, the right uh, subsets, whatever, it might fail on you. If you don't have the right uh, you don't have the skill ups on them. It might fail on you, so uh, keep that in mind before you try this team. I was like, ah, oh, why isn't this team working for me? That that's probably the reason why. Now, because I'm making a video, it's going to fail now. Regardless, <laughs> I've done this team. It do, it is not a hundred percent team, like I said, it is a YOLO team. But with the times three uh, speed, I feel like it's going to. And I'm I'm going to have a timer here. Uh, I'm actually going to have a timer here just in case. I'm going to time each one just so we can have an accurate timing because once it's times three, it's still going to count the same time. It's not going to give you the right time. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's talk about this team, correct? Um, they're all rock. Yes, it is going to be difficult because some actually... Uh, there's only one that I believe I have to move around the team, which is uh, Sisu's Elk. I, I have to move her into the actual team. And I believe it's Inua. I believe that's the only one because she does insane debuffs. Maybe. We'll go ahead and try it. And if not, then we'll go ahead and move uh, stuff around. I know there's one one, um, one, uh, one scenario where it actually does... Uh, it, it, it becomes kind of difficult. But it's going to be the same team regardless. So let's talk about this, right? Benito, Benito you already know about him. He's one of the fast pace. If you do not have him in, in your team... He is not going to be. He, he's basically a speed clear type of type of type of hero. So, if you're looking for speed clears, this guy's your man. You have to have the one thing you will have to have is his second skill skilled up. That's one mandatory. I do not have his first skill skilled up. It's not as important, but his second skill is mandatory for it to him to do insane damage. Um, Rock June. Yes, he's not on global. It might be kind of difficult to work around him. You can actually put. Any, I feel like you can put maybe Scissor Carletta in his place or uh, some kind of, or maybe even Paper French. He actually makes it a bit more re uh, reliable, but it's not going to be as fast. But she does the same thing. She does a huge nuke and she has a buff as well, which probably will help your team out as well. So what June does is he g gives a big chunky amount of damage but he does damage to himself it is a uh, amp skill so the more amps he has the more uh, power he, the more damage he will do and then his second skill of course will reduce cooldown for I think it's one per hit one one hero per hit he does which will reduce the cooldown by I believe it's like six seconds per hit so yeah, and it used to be insane. This guy got nerfed in case, or since you are uh, the newcomers, this guy was nerfed. His second skill actually, practically, you didn't even need skill dragoons for anybody because he would just bring down the school, the skill cooldowns for everybody. Just like he would, he would hit one, and then it'd bring everybody's skill cooldown by six seconds. So it's like 
everybody would have their skills up. So that's why they nerfed him. They had to nerf him. He was completely broken. Some people cried about it, but I'm just like, I feel like he's still really good. He's not just, he's not broken anymore. Okay. Now we're going to talk about Rock Arcana. I'm going to probably put a link, or not a link, a, a time step on b before I start so y'all can actually see the teams um, when they actually, uh, when I start doing it. I'm just explaining sort of. So the one I have sealed up for her is the shield. Reason being is because her shield, she creates a shield that's invulnerable to debuffs. So any stun, any anything, no debuffs at all. No debuffs will land and on top of that she will give you a crit rate buff which is really, really, really important for these type of speed clear teams because you will actually do uh, a lot, uh, significantly, significantly a lot more damage. So uh, her, her first skill isn't as important, it's just a basic uh, AOE uh, skill, it's 810% uh, of power, uh, HP, HP recovery equal to 250, 240% of the caster's attack power upon critical hits. So the second, the once she has her shield up and then does that, she will give a little heal. Not too crazy, but her, her shield, her shield uh, does it. She does her job. And then this is, okay, as as the uh, striker, why do not I, do I not have her as the lead or she's in the thing? I've already explained to in, in, in actually in the video I'm going to edit today is going to be Elk, it basically Elk Day. She has a very derpy AI when it comes to the, I, I've done a video a long time ago and I've tried doing a, the Medina boss and she would not do her skills. For at least 20 seconds or something like that, she had her, both of her skills up, she did not use them at all. So. You can use her in scenario when it comes to farming or whatever, but just have a safer team with her. When it comes to fast clear teams, I do not really recommend you trying to use her. Yes, she has a heal, but she's very derpy. She, she Even as a striker, she's sometimes derpy as well. So she has an overpowered kit. It makes sense that she has a derpy AI, right? She can't be too insane. So yes, so that's why I have her as a striker. Also, it's much better to have these three as uh, we go. Well, let's go ahead and go in there because they're just all in case you didn't know you can do this uh for newcomers you can actually do select all three stars boom or four stars or five stars i don't know why i still don't understand why it's still here the the five star the the five star uh choice i don't know why i ran out of uh, words there the choice to have five stars there so all right so let's go ahead and use let's go ahead and uh do it let's show y'all how effective this team is. I'm going to do it two times at least. So we're going to go ahead and start timing right about now. Okay, so we're timing. Let's see. Oh, it's times one. Oh, dang it. Okay, times three. There we go. Oops, everything just moved. <laughs> dang it. But uh, so the point is, is that she's supposed to do her buff. There you go. Then Benito's supposed to do his skill, but he's not doing it at the moment. Once he gets his skill up, he's going to actually do significantly, significantly a lot more damage. He's he's the key unit in this team, actually, because he just continuously does so much damage. And the shield went down right when... We're getting very unlucky here. The thing is, is that this team is... It, it shouldn't fail. It's more of a... It might take longer than usual. So we're already a minute in. It's already taking too long, I feel. So this uh, this team is really good. I feel I feel anyways. This one I've already explained as well. This team, this uh, boss right here is actually a little bit more difficult because the little mini bosses right there, the the mini bosses, the whatever they are, they actually distract my heroes from actually focusing on the boss. Luckily they were focused there. So let's go ahead and stop it there. There a minute run, just about. Um, it, 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 with better RNG, they, with their mindset right, they would actually do a lot better there. So you know what, let's do it again. We're going to reset this timer and we're going to do it again, okay? Plus, uh, I forgot to mention, Lucky Ball event is actually happening here. So farm, 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 you're going to get, you're going to get a, a whole bunch of those. So let's hope we get better RNG here. We're going to do it twice just to show that it's not, it was not just lucky. Let's go ahead and try and see how long, okay. We have started. Let's get a good start off. Okay, we got the crit rate right there. Can we get his special skill up before? Okay, there we go. All right, so now you can see that he's going to do a whole bunch of different. Now, now that that's happening, we're gonna get rid of a whole bunch of them right here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Plus, Elk is critting as well, just because of the fact that she, uh, we do have the crit buff as well. So we do have this up and running. Can we get? And he's actually doing his uh, skills, which is really important right here. All right, so we are at the 30 second mark already. Can we beat the time that we beat before? Let's go ahead and skip this animation. I really don't care about it. Let's try it. 
And like I said, these, this, oh, he, he started off with it. Okay, so here we go, here we go, here we go. Damage taken, we're going to do that right there. And does, is it going to charge the boss actually? No, it is not. Are we going to kill him? There we go, we killed him. Look, it kind of got risky right there, but it still worked right there. Okay, and we actually, 53 seconds, that's actually really good. See, that was a better timing for that. So 53 seconds consistently, uh, 53 to a minute consistently. Um, it, like I said, it is... Uh, it is not not a hit and miss, but it is like a 80 90 percent. It it fails. It, it is not 100 percent is my point So let's go ahead and go to The harder one. This is actually one of the the tougher ones for me to do just because of the point that he does insane amount of damage So let's go ahead and do this in case you do not know actually this guy used to one shot everybody with his skills Before actually let's go ahead and let's go ahead and reset the timer. Let's start now. Okay. Yeah, so this Medina, if you don't, if I, to be honest, I don't know why they uh, put Silvas and Medina those bosses first because these those bosses are actually much harder than the Inua and Jin bosses, just because of the fact that they actually uh, they're a bit more different. I feel like they should have changed it around. They should have changed it to the fact that Medina and Silvas boss should have been the the two last ones because I feel like for newer players it's gonna be extremely tougher especially when I was starting it was actually extremely hard for me to um, beat the Medina boss and I couldn't uh, farm efficiently the, uh, the the Medina boss stage anyways so we are at 39 seconds at the boss let's go ahead and sit oh, too late now but let's see what happens here can we have our shield up so he won't do any there we go we got our shield up he doesn't leave because uh, he would leave a a uh, crit rate deep diva so he won't crit as much is he dead is he dead he's not going to stun us wait what oh crap that scared me i was like why did it, why did it not uh why did it not uh why did it stun me because i thought i had the shield up but i forget the time oh wait wait, wait. okay so about a minute uh minute four minute three somewhere around there he this actually those I, that was actually pretty risky so let's go ahead and go again like I said, there, sometimes it is it does get pretty close, so let's go ahead and do it again, just to show y'all how it goes. Usually the boss stages are where it, it kind of messes every, uh, everything up, <laughs> really. Um, so let's go ahead and restart the timer here, and we'll go start. Okay. Alright, so can we get the... The thing is, is that his AI... Okay, there we go. Benito's AI is starting to work his magic now. He used both of his skills right there. Very good, very nice. All right, so we're going to be creating right here. Can we get... Oh, dang it. She didn't... See, look, she's being derpy. She didn't use it. <laughs> she wasn't using it at all. Finally, she, she started using it. The best part about using Elk and Benito is that once she uses her, her uh, strike or her eclipse, everybody is... Oh, we're at 30 seconds. Very nice. So everybody is gathered up there, and they will... He will just do continuous damage right there. Okay, so I, as you can see, we have the crit rate debuff, so we won't crit as much. There we go. Now we will not get stunned. And before he even did it, we killed him. There we go. Very nice. That's how it's supposed to cleanly go. 45 second. 45 second run. That's actually faster than the Silvus. And normally this actually takes a lot longer. So very nice, very nice, very nice. We're going to try the Inua. I don't remember if it was the Inua that actually caused some problems. We're going to skip Inua just in case. We're going to do Jin. Just to show this one. This one's actually one of... I think this one's the easiest boss out of all of them. Just because of that. Let's go ahead and go in and go in. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Uh, 45 seconds. I feel like it was like 44. I keep forgetting to stop the timer. So let's go ahead and start the timer now. Okay. All right. Can we get the buff up? Okay. So he did his thing. He did his AOE there. That's fine. All right. He should have done that when he uh, when he was about to um, when the new wave started. So there we go. We're actually killing. Can we? There we go. Very nice, Benito. Do your strike. Do your strike. Great. Right, uh, right when everybody was there, would have been the best thing. Okay. Right there, there we go. Can we do it now? There we go. It's a bit better. You're doing a bit better. <laughs> okay, so they didn't leave any debuffs because of her shield. Like I said, she has a like a 15, 16 second shield, which is insane. Okay, so hopefully now. Okay, there we go. Everybody, I feel like everybody's really good skills are up. Her shield is up. His big nuke, uh, June's nuke, big nuke is up, and then Benito's nuke is up as well. So let's see how they think about this. How they prioritize their skills. Okay, she uses her shield. Very nice. There, he's not going to bind us. There we go. We actually landed a crit right there. And he is completely dead already. Boom. Right there. And we are at 55 seconds. It's like 54-55. Another 54-55 seconds. Let's go again and uh, try it again. 
See, this is why I love this team. This is why I love this team. It's so it's it's it, it does very nicely. It it cleans out the waves really really well. And like I said, I mean my orbs and crests are not the best, but still it is it it it's decent enough for me to make this team. If it is not working, then it's probably skill ups. If it's not skill ups, then it's probably the substats that you have. I'll go ahead and show them after once I'm finished uh, wrapped up here. I'm going to go ahead and show what their stats are. I know I haven't done a Hakasha video yet. I know, I know. It's because I feel like mine is very underwhelming just because of the fact that I don't have skill ups on him. I don't have any, uh, I don't have the best orbs on him. I want him, there you go, good job. That's how you're supposed to use your skill. Anyways, <laughs> but I don't have the best orbs. I, I feel like he should, like, like I mean, Nezzy even put, he even like in the in, in that video that we, we competed in, he did orb for fun, whatever. <laughs> he said he put leftover orbs on his and it did insane damage. So I really do, and, and I tried it and I'm like, I might need more damage on it because it didn't seem very well. Okay, so what's happening here? We did not have the shoot up. Okay, we have the shoot up now. Can we nuke him down? Can we nuke him down? Come on, June, you have your thing up. Do your nuke skill. Come on, come on. Okay, well, uh, he didn't even use his nuke skill. There we go, okay. And, oh crap, I did it. I didn't start the timer, but let's see the time for here. It was minute 15, so about 50 seconds. Even if even if uh, you would have a minute 15 second run here at normal time if you don't want to do it uh, at, at this pace of speed. All right, so let's try Inua. The reason why Inua is a little bit more tricky, it isn't hard, it's just a bit more tricky uh, for speed runs anyways, is the fact that she is paper and on top of that she does leave a lot of debuffs, freeze and whatnot. It gets kind of annoying if Arcana doesn't have her shield up. So let's go ahead and see. It's All these boss stages have two. Uh, reason why I do not bring this team to Traegar is oh crap 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 oh my gosh I keep forgetting man. <laughs> uh, reason being is because uh, in the Traegar boss actually has a reflective damage shield and this shield and I mean this this team is specifically focused on shield no I mean not on damage. I keep okay let me let me start over okay this team is specifically focused on damage and he has a damage reflective shield. So that's why it's kind of troubling to use that team there. I mean, unfortunately right now, uh, Traegar is not really farmable. It, it isn't really, you don't really choose to farm Traegar just because of the fact that you need a whole bunch of crit rate. And right now we don't have as much crit rate subsets. Oh look, it actually worked. Uh, 52 seconds. That's actually my faster run. I tried this before and it didn't work. So let's go ahead and do the second, do it, do it two more times. Okay. Um, can you start? Oh, actually, I leveled up right there. Very nice. Very nice. Look, I'm moving up the ranks. <laughs> there you go. But, um, 76. Cool. Okay, so, what was I saying? Uh, so, let's try it again. I don't even remember what I was saying. Great. But yeah, so that, he, he it's dependent on damage. And I feel like, oh yeah, the crit rate, the crit rate, the, um, there isn't, enough i wish there were five star orbs and i feel like they're not going to release them just because of the fact that how much uh the end game players have already invested on the four stars and whatnot so i don't i really have a thing they're not going to release it just because of how much rubies were spent how much like it's so much so i feel like it's not going to um happen but the, at the same time that's the reason why um the Traegar is not being farmed at the moment can we get a heal up can we get a heal up can we get a heal up can we get a hill? Come on, Arcana. Don't be derpy now. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like, don't be derpy now. I'm trying to show you off here. She's not the most exciting uh, hero here. She actually doesn't do insane damage or nothing like that, which is why I was kind of hesitant to build her. I was like, eh, I didn't even start the damn timer. Great. But, yeah, so it, 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 it basically, that, that's the way I base it off of anyways. So, or I tried basing it off of and it shouldn't be like that. I was like, ah, uh, she, she doesn't do insane damage, but she does, utility wise, she does really well because of that, that shield and that crit rate buff, especially for speed teams and even uh, uh, faction boss. Okay, so as you can see, it even worked for Inua, but I'm not going to use it for Trigger. I already know personally it does not work. It is not 100%. It's probably like 10%. It does not win at all. But uh, when it comes down to that one, I feel like you need a, you need a whole different team. But that, I just showed y'all, it does farm each and every one of them. One team, I didn't even have to change the position for any of them. So it's it, it works really well. And I feel like even with um, 
in arena I can you can use it but eventually it kind of it becomes kind of hard just because of the fact that there there is elk and all the heals and all that it becomes kind of more difficult so let's go ahead and go into the uh, subsets and whatnot okay so what did I focus on this guy He's Iron Wall. You can focus on concentration. I think Neon Nezzy, I call him, he likes to, he prefers to be called uh, Nezzy. Nezzy is, prefers to have him on concentration. I think he has him on concentration. I prefer to have him on Iron Wall. I, I don't know why. I just never took them off of him, these orbs. These are his, his stats. I feel like they could be better, but at the same time, they're okay. They're not that bad, you know? So what I really focused on him was really skill cooldown reduction. Uh, and I think that is practically it defense as well i don't even let's go ahead and uh click these click the actual orbs here so as you can see right there seven percent the best you can get is nine percent uh skill cooldown so that's what i focused on uh just skill cooldown skill cooldown here as well you can do crit damage if you want to focus on crit damage uh right here actually oh that's why it's plus 12 i have not even changed it that that means that he can be even better so let's <laughs> that 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 changed a lot okay so as you can see right here it's just skill cooldown reduction that's all i really wanted for him because of this skill i want him to rotate the skills as much as possible and iron wall just helps out with the fact that I, i'm lacking the the defense percentage so that's why i have him on iron wall if you want to have him on concentration you got to focus really focus up on the de uh, defense percentage this guy right here I have, I do have him on 27% uh, skill cooldown reduction. I shouldn't be focusing so much on skill cooldown reduction. I should be focused on crit rate, crit damage, and attack. That's really what I should be focusing on him. But because I use him for farming, I have, uh, I want him to have this skill as much as possible up, which is kind of a weird way to think about it. But that's why I did a lot of uh, skill cooldown reduction. I think this orb right here, I have not actually done the. Oh, I did. You know what, this is probably one of the orbs when I did early game. And don't, don't do this mistake where you plus 12 and then change the stuff stat. That's a horrible idea because then you can't do the reroll system correctly. So this is probably what happened. I probably did, I probably did something stupid. So yeah, and the debuff is okay, I guess. He leaves a debuff. It's, it's not too crazy. Not the best thing you can uh, do anyway. So right here, crit damage. You have 2% 2 crit damage and 8% crit damage. Debuff on there. Sorry about that. Uh, and then he has skill cooldown reduction, he has crit damage, and another debuff duration. No idea why, don't ask why. Uh, and I have skill cooldown reduction right here. Resistance, it rolled into resistance, so whatever. Attack percentage and crit damage, which is really good. Uh, and then right here, crit rate, that's that's all I really cared about. It's only a three star crest. Uh, crit rate right here, and attack percentage, and the debuff duration, whatever, it's okay. And then uh, skill cooldown reduction right there, three star crest as well. So that's really what I focused on him. On her, I really looked at Antonella's. He has his on half bravery, half concentration. As you can see, I have her built. Uh, no, I mean built. Obviously, I have her built. I have her skilled up on the second skill. No skill ups on the second one. I should, but no, I don't think so. Maybe I'll just add one. It, uh, double roll on crit damage, which is really nice. And then a 4% crit damage right there. A, I think this one right here, I want a better orb on there, which is why I don't have it at plus 15 just yet. Uh, this one buff duration and skill cooldown reduction and attack percentage which is really good because she heals based off of uh, attack percentage and then right here I focus on attack percentage as you can see I sort of spread it out the rolls I crit damage right here I didn't do that one just yet buff duration and then attack percentage that's really what I want to focus on and maybe I'll do attack percentage on here as well or something like that or maybe crit damage who knows and then these these don't matter. Skill cooldown. I, I don't have the best crest on here. Maybe this one was better. Yeah, it was status. Uh, the buff duration and HP, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess that, that's probably what it was. I don't even know why it plus 12 this one, to be honest. Crit damage, I guess, maybe? I don't know. I was just trying to level them up, I guess. I was like, you know what? I need to... And then, of course, you've already seen my elk. I focus. Uh, she's only for strike, so if you use scissors... Um, the reason why I use her, actually, is because of her break. She actually has a four break point when she's on strike so it'd be better to have their hair as well and uh she gets you out of sticky situations because of the fact that she controls anything that's if, if when she decides to use it she controls anything that it, that stands in your way so it's like they're attacking you if you're about to die she controls them and then you can he have time for your heroes to actually heal up so uh, vitality and of course focus on skill cooldown status activation and uh hp percentage that's usually the three you want to focus on when it comes to scissors up oh. But yeah, this is a team, this is a crazy overpowered team that my guildies came up with. Shout out to Delicious, who actually came up with this team. I did not come up with this team. This team is actually 
um, very consistent considering how YOLO it is. So uh, if, if you have a better team, leave it in the comments down below what you think about this team. I think it, it, I've been using it everywhere, no matter where I go. It's, 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 such, a, it's such a weird team, but I'm like, and, or not a weird team, but I'm like, I, I use it everywhere, so it, it, it works just fine. So besides, obviously, the uh, Guild Conquest and whatnot. But either way, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, leave a comment down below if you have a team suggestion that you use and you're like, hey, this one is a bit better. It's a bit faster, more consistent. That'd be awesome to hear. I just want to show this team off to, for maybe the, the people who like to do speedruns or whatever. Uh, like I said, you don't have to use Rock June since y'all don't have him. Y'all do have Sister Elsa, so y'all can use her. But you can use Rock, um, I mean, Paper Fran in position for him, especially since that Inua boss is Paper, so it'd be better. And Medina boss is Paper as well. So it'd be, uh, no, I mean, Paper. It's uh, Rock, so it'd be uh, really good to use Paper Fran, but, so it's not a problem. So, anyways, like I said, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Alright, peace.